Excuse me, the dog. Alright, guys. Well, it is a gray, gloomy day here in the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm here on this gloomy. It is a Friday, September 29th, 2023. And, uh,. So being Friday, you know, I'm supposed to be doing what I do every Friday, and that is my ecological collapse roundup, uh, where I go over to mongabay.com for their latest weekly catalog of calamity unfolding on the planet this week. But guys, I, I was just over there, and... Uh, I don't know, I just, <laughs> it gets tough to do the uh, Manga Bay Roundup sometime. It really does. I, I just did not have the energy for it this week. So now I'm sitting here while I'm waiting for my latest influx of, uh, of uh, what, these vacation tourists partying like it's 1999. Uh, I find myself having to uh, come up with today's chronicle of the collapse uh, kind, of, kind of by the seat of my pants as it were. So what I'm going to do instead, uh, so two articles showing up today uh, in my radar from two of my Doomer compatriots, uh, Jessica Wildfire and Alan Urban, I will put the links to these two essays and you can read them yourself. So it's kind of a common theme. Jessica, her uh, rant for today is everyone daydreams about collapse. Few understand it. Everyone daydreams about collapse and then... Uh, Alan Urban over here at Medium.com, I know collapse is coming, but have I truly accepted it? Uh, where Alan Urban, uh, I, I did not realize that Alan uh, has only been uh, down the collapse rabbit hole since 2020 and anyway guys I could just read the story but you guys can read as well as me so I'm gonna put the link on it and I highly advise you go read Alan and Jessica's uh, essays that you'll find on these links but uh, th so th this is just kind of a broken record rant for anyone who's been listening to me for years uh, not, not, nothing new in this rant, it's just kind of my, my comment, uh, to Alan and Jessica about, uh, accepting collapse, and, <laughs> you know, how many times can I say it, guys, uh, anybody down this rabbit hole, uh, it finds themselves in uh, Alan's position, and it, it, well, any Doomer knows exactly what uh, Alan and Jessica and, and I am talking about. Uh, that nobody, I, I, I don't care how hardcore of a Doomer you are, I don't think there is one Doomer on this planet who can really seriously wrap their head around uh, the, the, the shit that's unfolding on this planet. Uh, now, compared to the clueless morons, I mean, obviously we can wrap our heads around it a little bit better, but none of us know what this is going, uh, what this is going to look like, uh, how long it's going to take, all this, we can intellectualize and pontificate all day long 
uh, 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 about preparing for this and accepting this, uh, but 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 none of us <coughs> can can truly uh, wrap our head around what is what is <coughs> coming down the coming down the pike. Uh, and accepting it, uh, I, I think I have done a a good a job as anybody in accepting collapse. And it's one thing that Alan talks about here. The more he becomes accepting uh, the fact uh, that that we are all doomed. Uh, and, and there's not a damn thing any of us are, are going to do about it, the more he understands this and the more he comes into acceptance, the less of a prepper he becomes. He is he's only being down this rabbit hole for three years, I guess. You know, I, I think a lot of people... Now, I never went through, I, I never went through the prepper stage. There is uh, one thing that I have done to prepare for the collapse of global industrial civilization. And for anybody who has ever seen Lord of the Flies, read the book or seen either uh, movie version, preferably the first version, the black and white version, knowing the story of Piggy, Piggy and his glasses, uh, there is one thing and one thing only that I have done to prepare <coughs> for the collapse <coughs> of global industrial civilization, and that is I have bought 50 50 pairs of these cheap reading glasses from uh, the Dollar Tree. I guess it's the Dollar 25 tree now. And various, uh, anywhere from 2 to 3.25, I own 50 pairs of, of these reading glasses. And I have them stashed in different places. I, I am stocking no food. I'm not digging a bunker, a bomb shelter. I don't own any iodine tablets. I do not own a gun. Uh, I, I'm not building landmines and booby traps and uh, y y you know what I'm saying. Uh, I just want to be able to see my neighbor creeping up on me to uh, kill me for my last can of Beanie Weenies. So as far as prepping is concerned, uh, you know, when you talk about clueless morons, uh, anybody who thinks that you can prepare for this uh, when, when, you know, when it really gets here, uh, as my, uh, Doomer buddy Antonio Reed, uh, <laughs> told me one time when I was interviewing Tony, he, uh, he just says, make it a clean headshot. You are not going to want to be alive when this shit comes down. And you know, when I say this shit comes down, I mean when it really comes down, I cannot define it, but I will know it when I see it, when it gets here. Uh, I, I want no part of it. Uh, I'm hoping I'm going to be dead. I'm still clinging to the hopium. <coughs> that the screen door is going to just tap me on my own guilty ass on my way out 
I, 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 I have no desire to survive the collapse of global industrial civilization. The, the, the thought of it holds zero appeal to me. Uh, so obviously, <coughs> I hope I am dead before it gets here. <coughs> Damn it! So I guess, Alan, I don't, well, I guess I can find it in there. I think what Alan, he used to be a member of the 2050 Club, thinking uh, that he and his kids <coughs> uh, had until 2050. Uh, and now, I guess, he is in the... I, I, I guess somewhere around the 2030 to 2035 club. Alan Urban, his reading of the uh, tea leaves is that the, you know the, the fat lady is going to sing, what did he say, in 10 to 15 years? <coughs> or was it even 5 to 15 years that Alan's down to? Uh, I am, you know, for years I was in the 2070 club. Uh, I, 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 I get so sick of people wanting to know when collapse is going to happen. Uh, when it is happening right now, if anybody wants to know when collapse is happening, Look out your window. We are collapsing right now. Shit is going down the tubes as I speak. But we all know what I'm talking about. Uh, and my answer is March 17th, 2074 at 417 p.m is when it's going to happen, but I have to admit, guys, you know, the more I'm looking, I would say I've gone from the 2070 club, I am, uh, I, I'm in the 2050 club, which conveniently means I'm going to be 91 years old if, uh, if, if we can keep kicking the can down the road till 2050. Uh, although that still means I have a one in three chance of being alive, being a 91-year-old man, uh, being, uh, <laughs> so I hope to hell, uh, th that ain't gonna happen. So I, I do not agree with Alan five to 15 years. Uh, I think, uh, that miraculously that the fear of it falling apart is going to be the glue that keeps it together. Uh, that, that we're going to uh, ratchet up the fear enough uh, that we can keep this ball of wax uh, holding together uh, Till, t till 2050, but uh, coming to accept it, and you know, once you do accept it, uh, on a, what I call a cellular level, how many thousands of times have I said it, once you really have read the handwriting on the wall, and you understand on a cellular level how doomed we are, uh, and, and, and you accept this, uh, the only question from that point forward is how are you going to choose to spend the rest of your life knowing that this shit show could come down any minute. And don't get me wrong, I think there's a very good chance that it's not even going to last five years. <coughs> uh, I think it is, but I also fully acknowledge 
that this shit show. It could come down, and when it does, it could come down so quick, it's even going to make the most hardcore doomers head spin. Uh, and so you need to decide how you are going to choose to spend the rest of your life uh, with full knowledge that this shit show is coming to an end and that as far as civilization is concerned it needs to uh, it, it needs to come to an end uh, but once you uh, once you understand this uh, you just need to th th that's the only question you need to figure out I personally choose to spend as much time as I can in nature out here. I, I honestly, I, I, I spend more time uh, in nature uh, than anybody else I know. Uh, maybe there's somebody who spends more time outdoors, I pretty much, and, and I'm calling this screen porch on this tiny house in the woods outdoors. Uh, I, I pretty much limit my time indoors to <coughs> basically sleeping. I go inside, I go to sleep uh, inside, I do still sleep inside my little wooden tiny houses. I get up in the, ne the next morning and I go outside. Uh, I spend seven days a week out here forest bathing. And so, uh, and, and, and you know, I'm not embarrassed about, uh, about what I've created. Uh, here at, uh, at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I've got these beautiful tiny houses, and, uh, I am, uh, offering people who do not spend time in nature a little haven to come hang out in nature for a few days. This is how, uh, I have chosen to live out uh, the the end times in my life is to uh, hang out in nature as much as I can in beautiful places and offer other people the opportunity to take a brief respite uh, from their clueless moron lives. This is what I do. The, the zoning at Bugs in a Jar Farm is called Forest Recreation. I, I have Forest Recreation zoning here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. What that means is hunting. It means killing your fellow earthlings is what Forest Recreation is, but, uh, I think that is exactly what I am doing, is, is offering forest recreation. Uh, so that is what I choose to do. Uh, and I'm not saying that is the choice you need to make. I, I highly recommend spending as much time out in nature as you possibly can. Uh, that would certainly be uh, at the top of my list of pieces of advice. But, of, of course, the only final advice is to get out there and enjoy it while you still can. It's that simple. There's nothing you or anyone else are going to do to turn this freight train around. This freight train is heading for the derailment of, uh, uh, to end all freight train derailments. Uh, there's not a goddamn thing you 
or the little lefty greenies or anybody else are going to do about it. Nothing. Get out there and enjoy it while you still can. And uh, people have, have asked me what it means. Enjoy it. What do you mean by it, Sam? Well, it really, it, it, it has a double-edged uh, sword meaning. And so it, as much as uh, I am a fan of the collapse of global industrial civilization, uh, trust me, I, I do not want to be here when it goes. So part of it is get out there and enjoy global industrial civilization while you can. Uh, enjoy that gas-sucking truck of yours. Enjoy the internet. Enjoy being able to walk in Wegmans supermarket in Ithaca, New York and having 150,000 uh, different grocery choices to stuff into your clueless fat face. Uh, uh, and, 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 and enjoy uh, flying off to wherever. Uh, enjoy every one of these perks of global industrial civilization. And of course, the, the, other, the other side of it is get out there and enjoy those beautiful fall leaves while you still can. And uh, just remember, while you do still, while, while you still can, get out there to the $1.25 tree and load up on those reading glasses so you don't end up like Piggy in the Lord of the Flies. You do not want to end up like Piggy. And, uh... <laughs> that's it that's all I can say to uh, Jessica Wildfire and Alan Urban about uh, coming into acceptance uh, about collapse There, there's nothing else to say figure out how you want to spend the rest of your remaining days on this uh, collapsing planet and uh, get out there and enjoy, enjoy it while you still can, uh, any way you can. Uh, and I really have nothing to add to that. So I have to go get ready to meet my next group of vacation tourists wanting to come up here. And enjoy it while they still can. Bye, guys.